Raymarine EV100 P70 wheel pilot pack I hadn't long been sailing before I noticed that being a slave to wheel or tiller wasn't on behalf of me. Much as I enjoy steering a ship, doing so for hours on end becomes tedious and tiring. I've done many hard coastal and blue water miles hand steering when an autopilot or wind vane gear broke down, and that I know too well the meaning of the term, the tyranny of the helm. Our long-term project boat, a Norlin 34, balances beautifully under sail and can steer herself with the wind forward of the beam, so it wasn't until I made a decision to require her south from Boston's north shore for the winter that an autopilot became a compelling necessity. The skinny hindquarters of this early 70s IOR design meant that installing a below-deck drive would be a serious undertaking involving an excessive amount of boat yoga and expense. We had tested a Raymarine wheel pilot some years ago, and located it an honest match to the 13,000 pounds boat, but with a few quirks. The latest model, the EV100, retains its predecessor's drive unit and motor but comes with a new display and a heavily evolved brain that's improved its performance. It's now a full NMEA 2000 N2K system, which suggests you'll need to buy a NMEA 0183 to N2K translator to attach it to older instruments. At the guts of the system is that the EV1 sensor core, which contains the PC also because of the compass. The ACU100, the gray box that appears just like the old-style Raymarine computer, may be a drive controller. The P70 display head runs Raymarine's lighthouse interface. The installation of these various components was a simple DIY job. All necessary cables and connectors came within the box, though I had to shop for an extended CTOC cable due to the space between the ACU100 and therefore the P70 control head. It took perhaps 20 minutes to suit the drive unit to the wheel, all up, the installation was a pleasing afternoon project. Raymarine makes much of the aerospace technology contained within the EV1's glossy white shell, a three-axis digital accelerometer, a three-axis digital compass, and a three-axis digital Euro angular rate sensor. These esoteric techno bits add up to an instrument that can not only respond to changes in pitch, roll, yaw, and acceleration but learn to anticipate the effects of such changes. Think aircraft autopilot. As promised, the instrument worked right out of the box. I powered it up, went through the intuitive setup menu on the P70, and went sailing. It was as simple as that, no repeated 360s to calibrate, no fine-tuning. A few days later we gave the pilot some hard work to do, 30 hours of 20-40 to 40 knot winds and big quartering seas. It coped like a champion, reaching its limits only when the odd green monster picked up the stern and threw the boat sideways when it would emit a plaintive off-course alarm. Received wisdom has it that wheel pilots aren't capable of handling heavy conditions offshore, and on a less responsive boat this might rather be true, but they're on voyage, and within the ensuing, and easier, 1,400 miles, I couldn't blame with the EV100. Its power draw is modest, at least on this boat, where it doesn't need to work hard, and therefore the drive motor took some heavy punishment without complaint. 